New tonight, we are hearing from friends of a woman who was killed Friday night, a victim of gun violence. Ma Kane was a mother of four living at the Hidden Brook Apartments. She had just opened a restaurant. That shooting that took her life was one of just at least seven across the Denver metro area this weekend, including one early this morning near 20th and Larimer. That one involved three Denver police officers. Marissa Armas is joining us live tonight. And Marissa, Ma Kane's family is certainly mourning their loss of their family and their loved one, but they're also sick of this. Yeah, Kelly, as you can imagine, this community wants to see change because they're tired of this violence impacting their families, and they say more often it's impacting innocent people. She is like an innocent civilian. Outside of the Hiddenbrook apartments sits a small memorial with mocking sandals. Always active and then very kind and helpful to the other people and she's always positive. Friends and neighbors say Ma was the victim who was shot and killed on Friday night on North Xenia Street. While police have released few details on the incident, community members say she was an unintended target in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it was a random bullet from an automatic weapon that was in Freedom Park across the street. It was egregious that this should happen to anyone. The Burmese mother of four was on the Neighborhood Association Board. She came to the U.S. as a refugee. She had also just opened up her own restaurant. The 20-year-old son was holding her in, a, in his arms as she was dying, and he called 911 five times. Multiple neighbors told CBS4 that they and family members tried calling 911 numerous times, but they say dispatchers hung up on them. While EMTs did eventually arrive to help Ma, they say the wait was too long. They wonder if this is because of where this neighborhood is or because there are a lot of people of color. They say that they don't care about people like us. Ma's friends are now calling for more security and police presence so that no one else has to bury a loved one like this. We really set about her and we're going to miss her. Now, a representative with the city says that it's not policy for dispatchers to hang up on callers, but they are going to look into these claims. Ma didn't have any life insurance, so now the community is kind of working together to try to raise funds for her funeral. They're also planning on hosting a memorial for her tomorrow. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.